We're actually on site in West London at HS2 site at Old Oak Common Station. The benefit of the conveyor is we're not putting heavy goods vehicles on the road, we're making the road safer, we're getting the job done a lot quicker because the conveyor capacity is uh, a lot greater than what we could actually move by lorry. We are currently in the Victoria Road crossover box site where we are going to be launching our North Alts Tunnels East TBMs. Spoil from the TBMs is going to be being loaded onto the area central surface conveyor and then transported through the Flatiron, Atlas Road and Wilson Euro Terminal sites until it reaches our stockpile. This belt here is going to be transporting material from Victoria Road crossover box. Uh, this one will be transporting material from our Atlas Road logistics tunnel and the Euston running tunnels. And the belt on the far side over there is transporting material from Old Oak Common Excavations. The series of conveyor belts was constructed using cranes and rotary telehandlers. It was constructed using approximately a thousand tons of steel, which was shipped down from the northeast. The Wells and Euro Terminal is the logistics hub for uh, the London area um, for the materials coming from uh, Euston um, through to West Ryslip. The conveyor belt converges here at Wells and Euro Terminal. Um, the conveyor belts are bringing material from the tunnel boring machines as well as Victoria Road crossover box and Old Oak Common. So as the material comes off the conveyor belts, um, it lands within our inert stockpile area here. Uh, the material is then managed uh, by our material handling team um, who then transfer the material from the stockpile into the rail wagons uh, for onward transport to disposal points. We have three strategic disposal points, um, Barrington uh, in Cambridgeshire, Cliff in Kent and Rugby site as well. When the material gets to these sites, this, the material has been used for beneficial reuse, landscape in the area, uh, for an RSPB bird sanctuary for beneficial use for Semex at their cement factory. For the overall volume we expect to receive through the site just over 5 million tonnes. On an average day uh, we receive somewhere between three and 5,000 tonnes. Each train itself can take 1,500 tonnes of material, uh, removing around 70 lorry movements from the road each train. And we can run up to seven trains per day of spoil material going to the disposal points and two trains a day of tunnel segments. What we're doing here at Wilson Euro Terminal at the Logistics Hub is a great example of how rail freight can work in collaboration with large construction projects within the UK, uh, reducing carbon footprint, driving efficiency in movement of materials um, and utilising the Great British Railway.